What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Dice Stacking Tutorial. My name is Demon. I'm from Malaysia. I'm a dice stacker and today I'm going to teach you guys about dice stacking. Alright, so first of all, if you guys are new to dice stacking, do check out my previous tutorial videos as in this case, basic tricks and skills are really important. So yeah, do check them out and the links are going to be found at the description below. Alright, so today I'm going to teach you guys about down stacking. But before we get into the actual tutorial, this is a big 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 shout out to DiceStack.com for sending me their amazing 11cm dice cup set. Yep, much love. Alright, so enough talking, let's get to it. Alright, so first of all, what is down stacking? So, down stacking, obviously, it is the opposite of up stacking, which means that you're supposed to scoop the dice one by one from the top layer until the bottom layer of a set of stacked dice, right? Like so. Alright, so for the first step, we are going to learn about the moving motion of down stacking. So let's imagine there's a half circle on top of a set of dice, right? There's a half circle here. And what you're going to do is that you're going to use the cup and move around with the half circle motion. Yep. Like so. One, two, three, four, scoop. After learning the motion, let's move on to the next step. And for this step, you're gonna need a tall object, for example, a bottle with a flat surface, which is the bottle cap, and use one die, place on the bottle cap, and Use the same motion to scoop the dice off the bottle cap, yeah? Alright, so basically the key trick in this practice is that you are going to scoop the dice off the object without knocking off the object itself, right? The cup is going to scoop the dice at the half of the body, alright? So knock it at the half of the body of the dice and just turn, yeah? So for example, the half circle motion, keep on moving and when you're ready, go straight and just knock it off, like so. Alright, so once you're able to do it, do try to repeat the progress for another 3-4 to four times and if you're actually able to do it, it means that you have actually nailed the basic down stack. For example, Alright, so for the final step, I believe this is going to be the hardest step among all is that you're going to scoop the dice one by one from the top until the bottom layer of a perfectly stacked dice. As for beginners, it is actually very easy to knock off the rest of the dice. Don't worry, it usually means that you might be using the wrong motion or maybe you are not accurate enough to hit the dice at the right amount of the body. Yeah, so don't worry, just keep trying. Yeah, just remember the right motion and also be accurate when you're hitting the dice and yeah, eventually you'll get it. Let's try it one by one, okay? All right, so do take note, you know, different people use different motion. For example, um, for me, I would prefer using front-handed, right? Front-handed, but for some people, they might actually prefer backhanded. Yeah, for example, I mean backhanded is still the same thing, right? The same motion, but just go backward. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, do try out and you know figure out whether that you are comfortable with you no know, front-handed or backhanded. Different people are using different ways, so do find out your own way that is actually comfortable for yourself to do it. But hey, for those who are already able to do a perfect down stack at this moment, don't stop. I mean, why stop when you can actually do more, right? <laughs> yeah, so the reason for me saying that is that uh, there are actually a lot of creative tricks that are based on down stack. For example, we have uh, the combo down stack, which is the combination of the front-handed and the back-handed down stack. And also we have uh, a trick called the downstairs, right? Knock and grab, yeah, that's a challenging one. So, and you know, many more, you know, just be creative. All right, so there you have it. I mean, it's not exactly that hard, isn't it? But still, for those who are still trying, trust me, don't give up, keep trying, you know, be patient, and once you are able to do it, you will really love that trick. And after all, I mean like, practice makes perfect, right? 
Anyways, thanks for watching my videos. I hope that y'all have learned something from me today. And do check me out on my social medias like Instagram and TikTok at DiceDemon666. Also, please do not hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions regarding dice stacking tricks at the comment section below. I will try my best to help you out at the section there. So yeah, once again, my name is Demon. Thanks for watching my video. Yep, see you guys at the next episode.